Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we have the culmination of artificial intelligence, computer vision algorithms, Wi-Fi, 5G, connectivity, and household appliances. This is right here, is a Roborock vacuum cleaning system, and Hi. we're gonna... So, let's see what's inside the box. Hiya! Inside the Roborock S5 Max box, you can find a plethora of gorgeous looking accessories. Right here, I've got the robotic vacuum cleaner. It's white, it's sleek, it's sexy, it's glossy, it matches my kitchen cabinets. What more could a girl want? Now, the robotic vacuum cleaner does require Wi-Fi and it does need to be hooked up to its app, so I'm gonna head over to Tech Support and get that fixed up for me. Ash, fix it for me. All right, where were we? So this is the Roborock. As you can see, it's got cool, the coolest wheels ever. Look at these, bombastic. Boom, 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 and let me hear you say. It's got lasers, it shoots lasers at you. I'm gonna be testing out the radiation for that. It's got a cliff sensor, so it shouldn't fall off cliffs. It's got one of these mats to protect you from water. You put that underneath the charger. And to set it up, you connect the charging metallically using these pins just there and connect it to these guys. And you just turn it on. Look at that, the lights have come on. And it makes a little jingle. You also get, what's this, what's this for? A mop. This is, this is a mop. Mop in the floor. This is what we're doing with AI and 5G in today's society. So you're gonna need a Wi-Fi connection with these guys, except for you 5G scared people out there, it doesn't use 5G, you can only use 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so make sure you set up your routers correctly. I'm here using my uh, dummy phone, because I am not spying, uploading. Oh, we're gonna cut that bit out. <laughs> Over to Google Play or the iOS App Store, and you wanna type in Roborock. Log in, now you need to sign, sign, up. To sign up for an email address. To ensure normal functionality, please grant access. No, and it's found my device actually, there it is. All right, we have access on iOS, and the good thing about iOS is that it lets you disable location. So I switched over to my iPhone. All right, uh, do you agree to their privacy policy? Do you agree? You have no choice, you have to agree. You have to agree. All right, loading map. It's got a map. Doing something. Charging. Whoa! <laughs> it's managed to fight its way on this table <laughs> to the dock. And it's got a little map of this room already. <laughs> so we didn't die, it didn't crash. Something's happening here. I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna press the clean button and just see what happens. Wish me luck. Starting to clean. All right, we're gonna be putting some dirt all over this table. Let's see if this guy picks it up. Right here, right there, you can see some uh, spices. It's actually pretty cool that it's working. Hey! Hey, oh, he is almost gone. He's going for his second pass now. He's just doing this automatically. You know, pass it, pass it, spread it all over. Yeah, give it, give it a hard job. We got some more coffee on the table. Let's see this uh, magical robot laser AI business. Let's see if it's gonna pick it up. In the meantime, I'm checking out my radiation to see how much, how much, uh, don't shoot, I'm up. firing the lasers right there. You know, it's uh, 62 milliwatts, 230 milliwatts around the back. It's microwatts. So towards the front, I've seen it shoot up to 200 milliwatts, which is equivalent to an iPhone 11 Pro. The good thing about this guy, of course, it's not in your pockets, it's a bit further away. And as you can see, it's cleaning up the mess on its own. Can you believe that? It's cleaning up the mess. It's going back to the dock. It's finished its cycle. It's going back to the dock. I've 
place the charging dock precariously on the side and it's managing to slot in. It hasn't committed any jumps to doom. I can't believe it actually worked on this table. Now we did give it a bit of a trick. We were in between the cleans. We were dropping down some coffee and spices and it there's a little bit left, but that's because we threw it in halfway through the show. But I think it's ready to rock on our, our carpets. Is it gonna work? Like I I don't I don't think my flat is is capable of being automatically AI'd, especially how big this guy is. It's not gonna fit in through the holes. And if it's there's any pieces of paper, what will happen to the paper? I'm a bit confused. But technical support is done! Yo! Lady that wants the house cleaned! Your turn to come back and pick up your job! Mine. So right here I've set up a real life obstacle course. I'm dropping off some coffee granules on the floor, mixed in with some styrofoam. Yes, I am crazy, but I cannot wait to see how well it cleans it up. Okay, it's time to hit the clean button. Let's go. It's so much fun. <laughs> And so right now it's mapped out the areas. You can see it's mapped out the outlines and now it's going to go backwards and forwards and you can actually see it's got areas that it needs to, all of the dirt, you can see there where it needs to go. It's literally going around the pole. <laughs> it is, look at it. <laughs> Show us your moves, baby, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how it goes with the other side. And just like that, it is done. So it is completed about 11 meters squared in about 15 minutes, and it's used approximately 10 to 12% of battery life. Now, obviously, as I said, using a handheld device probably would be a lot quicker than that. However, the benefits of this is you don't have to touch it. You don't have to build yourself into a sweat. You can set it for yourself, you know, program device. If you wanna go out and have lunch, this is gonna do it for you. It is fantastic for people who are not able to use their arms, who are weak in the arms, who find Traditional vacuum cleaner is really quite heavy, especially if you've got one of these handheld devices, or even if you've got just a, a ball, for example, some of the balls can be really heavy. So this is just super light, you don't have to touch, you don't have to do anything, you literally just charge it up, keep it charging overnight, set it to do whatever you want it to do, clean designated areas, and it even has a mop function as well, which just, it just sounds so cool. And I think the biggest thing for me is the sound, like literally, let me just show you one more time. That's pretty noisy compared to little Roborock right there. All right, so that was the Roborock S5 Max robot AI computer vision technology from the future to make cleaning easier. For me, I gotta say, I do like that on iOS, you can disable location services. On Android, you can't do that at the moment. Maybe in an update, they will improve it. I also like that it works. It didn't fall off any of my table in my tiny room. I like that it worked in the living room. It picked up most of the dirt there. Very, very happy with the performance. I think for me personally, what I'd like to see improved in the future is an offline mode. I mean, I can see it uses lasers to map up the room. Why does it need a Wi-Fi connection? For convenience, of course, but for privacy sensitive guys like me, if you can just make it run offline, maybe only connect to your phone via Bluetooth, that kind of stuff, I would love the hell out of this machine. I would love the way this technology is going. But for now, I'm very impressed with the results and what it could mean to especially, you know, disabled people, elderly people, my mama. She's gonna love this. Just vacuuming, vacuuming on their own, at home, robot AI technology of the future. Hope you guys found this video useful and let me know if you'll be getting one of these robot AI machines of glory in your homes. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Beep beep bop bop, beep beep bop bop, must Kill humans! Humans are not my friends! Humans are my en- It's so much fun! <laughs> It's literally going around the pole. <laughs> <laughs> it is, look at it. <laughs>
show us your moves, baby. Yeah. <laughs>